Eller gulasch, back home the save and gulasch. It's better the next day when it's warmed up, if that's okay. really true. I don't know, but uh, that's what to say. Wow. Gotta sharpen the knife. <laughs> to start with, you gotta chop up onions. One thing for anyone who's gonna cook, very important, at least one chef knife, good quality. If you ever see a chef cook, they put the fingers in like this when they chop. Yeah. So you won't cut the fingers. But. Now we let the onions fry uh, till they get a nice translucent color, I think you would call it. This is to make the meat crisp or nice brown. Okay, let's see how the onions come along. Well, start to see they getting a little shiny. Yeah. I think it's time I can add the meat to the onions. Turn the heat up a little. Sometimes if it feels to be a little bit too dry, ah, garlic. I love garlic. So. This is not too much to make it nice and tasty. This is a garlic press. Now, when I learned with my mother, we don't have, we didn't have fancy stuff, shit like this. Squish the garlic like this. Chop it up. Well, we're going to put this now into the crock pot. This is rosemary. It's uh, herbs. What makes just about every cooking tastes better. That's tomato paste. Okay. Maybe I put too much in it, but that's okay. This is a uh, soup stock. When I have it, it's what goes in here. Otherwise, you just use water, but of course, this is better. Black pepper? Well, pepper, yes. And I don't do anything by measuring, I do it by feeling.
you have any stories you could tell about your garden? I mean, I have a variety of photos from my garden here and Britannia and Martinsberg. Really nice garden photos and rocks and what I created. And yes, this gardens were my almost love and things so you could incorporate this uh, mm -hmm. to just in general say how she loved her gardens. Mm -hmm. Paprika, Hungarian, that's good stuff. You roast the onions or whatever and put in the paprika around first. Paprika gets very bitter if you do that. Yeah. You do it once you have a sauce like this. I like to taste this a little bit just to... Yeah. Shall I add some peppers? Sure. Okay, and I put the red pepper in. This I pour now over the onions and meat. And we let that now simmer, cook for several hours, whatever. See, cooking is okay, but the cleaning up is the hard work. And of course all the fancy um, YouTube cook videos are neat and clean and there's never a mess like this. But this is a true kitchen. Yeah. The way normal oh, people cook. Nice. I'm feeding my family. Yeah. And that's uh, beef and pork, goulash stew with pasta. Yeah. Looks delicious. Huh? Looks delicious. What, what? It looks delicious. It looks, it is delicious, I think. Mm -hmm. My mom would have not liked me to cook with a blouse I put on fresh before I started. Mm -hmm. And it looks like this now, three hours later, mm -hmm. like a pig. That's why they invented aprons. You wear an apron in the kitchen. Yeah. Okay? Aprons, cheap, you can wash them. It's always okay. But this silk blouse, which maybe costs $150, is ruined forever because some of the spots don't come out. Yeah. Wear an apron in the kitchen. Okay. Thank you. I hope you learned something. God. My garden, my happy place, which is actually sad because I have to leave it behind. That's life. But as long as I have my grandchildren around me, I'm going to be a happy, 
blessed woman. What do you think? Shall I put the chickens around here? Just for in, sitting down here in this chair, yeah. like this, close to my garden, rather than upstairs. That's it, I cannot live caged in.